In this short video, we will go over what to expect after having a nerve block to help reduce your pain. After your surgery, you will be in the recovery area to wake up from anesthesia before going home. It is normal to have less feeling or weakness in the body part where you had surgery. The amount of pain and feeling is different from person to person. Because the numbing medicine in the nerve block may not take away all of your pain, you may need to take pain medicine pills after surgery even though you had a nerve block. When you are ready to go home, you may still have numbness and weakness from your nerve block. How long the nerve block will last is different for each person. Most people begin to have tingling and return of feeling about 8 to 24 hours after the block was performed. Once you are home, make sure you ask for help getting in and out of bed and doing most things. The body part you had surgery on may be weak and hard to control. Do not drive until your nerve block has completely worn off. Also, do not use the body part you had surgery on until the nerve block has completely worn off, unless directed by your surgeon. This is because that body part will not work properly. It is also numb and can be injured without you knowing. Do not apply extra pressure, heat, or cold to the surgical area unless your surgeon says it's okay. Sometimes it is normal for the nerve block to last longer than 24 hours after a single shot of numbing medicine. But it may also be a sign of something more serious. If the numbness is not worn off after 24 hours, please call your anesthesia team and ask for the anesthesia doctor on call so they can help you troubleshoot any problems. If you have a nerve block catheter, the nerve block should wear off within four hours of removing the catheter. If the numbness has not worn off after four hours, please call your anesthesia doctor. The nerve block is not meant to take away all of your pain, but it will lower the amount of pain you feel after surgery. Do not wait until your nerve block has completely worn off to start taking your pain pills. Once the nerve block begins to wear off, it can wear off within 30 to 60 minutes, and you may feel the onset of strong pain. It may take up to an hour for you to feel the effects of any oral pain medicines. Therefore, when the nerve block begins to wear off and you begin to feel even a small amount of pain, please take your oral pain pills as prescribed by your surgeon. If your surgery was in the morning or early afternoon, your nerve block may wear off in the middle of the night. You may wish to take your pain medications before going to bed to keep you from having too much pain during the night. If you did not receive a nerve block catheter, you should skip the rest of this video. If you received a nerve block catheter for your surgery, then it has already been injected with numbing medication when it was first placed. The catheter is a very small tube. Your anesthesia doctor will connect your nerve block catheter up to a pump that will slowly drip a weak numbing medicine out the end of the tube next to the nerves. These pumps can be used to keep your numbing medicine going for several days. You can even take a pump home to help lower your pain while at home. The pump used in the hospital may look different than the pump you are sent home with. The numbing medicine in the pump is not as strong as the medicine you received when the nerve block catheter was first placed so it is normal to have more pain, less weakness, and some return of feeling or tingling in the body part where you had surgery 8 to 24 hours after you go home. If you have pain, it is okay to take the pain pills prescribed by your doctor, even though you had a nerve block. Whether you are at home or in the hospital, make sure you ask for help getting in and out of bed and doing most things. The body part you had surgery on may be weak and hard to control because of the nerve block. Do not drive while your nerve block catheter is still in place or you are still numb or weak. You should also keep any sling or any braces on if your nerve block catheter is still in or you are still numb or weak. Your surgeon will tell you when it is safe to remove the sling or any braces you are using. You will have a bandage over the area where the nerve block catheter enters the skin. Do not place this area in water. Try to keep it dry. Make sure to check the area every day without removing the bandage for signs of swelling and redness, which may be a sign of infection. It is normal to have some fluid or blood leak from the site where the nerve block tubing enters the skin. 
This is usually just some of the numbing medicine leaking out around the tubing. This is normal. Check the tubing to make sure that it looks like it is in the skin and has not come out by accident. If the catheter looks okay where it enters the skin, do your best to keep the site dry with a towel or gauze to soak up any extra fluid leaking out. If you are not having much pain and you feel the nerve block catheter is making you too numb, you can turn it off by clamping the small clip on the tubing that connects the pump to the catheter. This will stop the numbing medicine from going from the pump to your nerves. It will take a few hours for the nerve block to completely wear off. Make sure you are taking your pain pills as prescribed by your surgeon if you clamp off the nerve block catheter. Otherwise, when the nerve block wears off, you may experience a lot of pain, and this can happen quickly once the nerve block begins to wear off. The catheter should be removed after three days, or once the medicine in the pump is used up. It is easy to remove the nerve block catheter tubing from your skin. Before removing the catheter, make sure to wash your hands with soap and water. Gently remove all bandages and any glue around the tubing to expose where it enters the skin. Gently pull the catheter out. The catheter may have been secured to the skin with a sort of glue, so it may stick to the skin but it should come out easily without using a lot of pulling. If the tubing does not come out easily, or if you feel pain when pulling on it, stop immediately and call the anesthesia doctor on call. Once the catheter is removed, check the tip for a dark marker. If you see the dark mark on the end of the catheter, all of the catheter has been removed, and you can now throw all of the material in the garbage. Never try to remove the tubing by cutting the tubing. This may leave a small piece of the tubing underneath your skin.